Please hold. Has anybody seen the price? So apparently everything is useless and worthless garbage. Except VIP packs of uh, anything modern related. So unless you've been living underneath a giant taco, um, if it's modern, it's going up. Everything else in the world is useless. So I thought, you know, my patron over here, Thomas, is Rudy, dude, can we can we just do like a little throwback? Just a couple little packs. A little mini old four pack a little, uh, little, 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 little four pack a uh, little, little four pack a you know, and just um, see, have a nice throwback here of a couple of the old VIP packs. I know, I trigger people when I say VIP, it's the VIP packs. You know, uh, I said, sure, we'll go for it, we'll go for it. So Thomas, Thomas, oh, good luck, man. We are cracking four VIP packs that are, God, oh man. What, this was, how do you all feel about this? You remember? How, how do you all feel about this thing? You know, you open it, there's no wizard's wrapper. It's really wild packaging. You get this brick of cards. How do you all feel about this thing? Have you seen the prices? They're actually going, even the sealed product now, of these loose packs are 120 to 130 plus tax now on eBay. Holy smokes, did they go up from the 90 to 100? We got a 20, 30% jump lately, folks. So, I know, your cards look amazing. I already know you guys, I know what everyone's going to say. We'll take a moment and enjoy it. Holy smokes, they look good. They look fantastic. Expedition map. And I just dropped the card that is now in heavy play. Oh, Uncommons. Sphinx. Rudy's X. Opter Engineer with a cool hairdo. And Cranial Planning. I wear that on the weekend. Enlarge. Only on only in the bedroom. And here we go. We got the Titan for the first one. Okay, so it will, hold on. It was two rares, then two of the fancy ones. Was that right? So we got Titan. We got Beacon. Ooh, Stone Forge Mystic. Fantastic start. Oh, and a Mythic Blight Steel Colossus. So remember, folks, you can only get the foiled full Montes in the VIPs. You can't get them in regular booster packs. I did that on purpose. Then you got, oh yeah, so you got the full fan. Oh man, those still look great, don't they? And they did what? Half were like the Zendikar and half were what? Unhinged? Then you get one foil, right? And those were both uh, Zend. I think Zendikar foils. So not, not a bad little start. Thomas, uh, remember the key is, folks, um, you, I don't, if I remember correctly, you can't get two Mythics. You can only get a rare and a Mythic or two rares in that slot, if I recall. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a year. I know. Time flies, everybody. It's been a year. So that's how I remember it being, because that's what caused the controversy and the free packs and all this weird stuff that happened from Wizards and that whole, that whole misadvertising, because wasn't on the back or something. Two borderless rares or myth. Yeah, something like that. I don't, I don't remember something. All right. Cards. God, they look nice. Yeah, it's been a while. Maybe I'm just used to the weaker quality. These things look fantastic. All right, uncommons. And I don't know. I used to ramble about it. I mean, Thopter Founder. I mean, I was rambling about how good the common uncommon foil slot were in these things. Nice Sage. Look at that. Prism. Hulk. Very nice. Return. Man of Reflection. Rare number one. Very, very nice. Sculpting Steel. Very, very cool. Exploration. Beautiful card from the infamous. Every time I see this card, I still think Conspiracy, but man, awesome. And a sword! That's what we want to see. A sword of body and mind, folks. Fantastic. Wow, this is this is a nice, this is a nice little brick. What are our foils? What are our foils? And this time, look at that. We got one of the old uh, unhinged, more expensive foils and one Battle for Zen era foil. Yeah, I don't, like I guess I don't really have plans. I don't have a ton of these left. I kept like two cases just to have some for the future of this. I wasn't sure. I expected to get more. We didn't get more. It was, a, this was a very turbulent time with the whole situation with these. Uh, modern was just falling apart. And now 2021 or mid-2021, everything's tanking except modern. We are just living in bizarre world. I'm telling you all. It's it's really nuts, everybody. But one thing we all agree. I mean, look at that. So, and this, that's not damage. I think it's dust on the cards on the top, by the way. But the cards look fantastic. Ooh, spell bombs a common? I thought that was an uncommon. Okay. And uh, I just I still think that the really cool cards you get. Dark Steel Citadel, very cool uncommon. Master Splat. Oh, the bobble! I heard the bobble's been going back up. Was that true? Or is that Fugazi? 20, 30 bucks? No? Everyone's gonna price check that now. Enlarge and in charge. Nice prism. 
Shaman, very cool. Ooh, Revoker for the M15 cheap reprint of Dumpster Fire. And a Rugged Prairie for Filterland, Rudy's favorite land cycle that nobody likes but him. And Phyrexian Metamorph, a card that looks awesome in the Phyrexian in literally one of the cheapest, worst cards you can get. We're going to need a home run full Monty, folks. We're going to need something good. Dark Confidant saves the day. It is a mythic, and that is a creepy looking card, man. Fantastic looking card, everybody. All right, into the foils. We are, okay, one of each. Very nice, very nice. Last pack for the video here. You know, I, I, this is a product I always wondered how much supply of sealed product of this thing is even left out there. I feel like some people kept and kind of hoarded it, but I know a lot of people who did completely gave up and walked away when these things just didn't do anything. But then again, I mean, Double Masters regular boxes have ju jumped up a lot also, so... But I think everything modern has. I'm pretty sure all the modern boxes. Okay, fantastic comments. Okay. Here we go, folks. Daredevil. Weapons Trainer. The old Mysteries from Shadows of Rain. Origins. We got the old Gate Crash Era. Skull Mulcher. They call me that in high school. Topple the ta Statue. And Skurdagna High Priest. Not what we want to see. Yeah. Maybe this thing's gone up recently. Avenger of Zendikar. Beautiful looking card. It's a mythic. Not really the best we're looking for. Urza's mine. That's what we like to see. That looks fantastic. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Are you... Oh my god. Just paid for the entire... Oh. <laughs> the last pack! The last pack. Thomas! Bro, home skillet cheese potato curly fry in the drive-thru. Oh, dude, dude, unbelievable. What a four-pack brick opening. Thomas, congratulations, sir. You hit yourself the full Monty. Absolutely stunning force of will. What a congratulations on doubling your money. I mean, this card essentially pays for the all four packs for you right there. Oh my goodness. So, no, no, so okay, okay, here. Reflect. Sub uh, mini case of four. You had a mythic in each of the four packs. Absolutely fantastic. On top of that, your rare for these four, three of your four were phenomenal. Stoneforge, I mean, she's a legend, Exploration, and one of the Tron lands. Metamorph was your weakest one. Seven out of eight were home runs. That's phenomenal. Nothing, nothing crazy in the not in the regular foil rare slot. I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't think we did anything crazy. I'm like, I'm freaked. I cannot believe you hit that, man. I cannot believe you hit that, Tom. Dude, what a legend, man. All right, I, I you completely derailed my speech for the end of the video, but I just want to comment to everybody out there. You know, we're in, we're in really wacky times. Like, everything is in a bear market week, you know, buy list dropping. But, again, for some reason, Modern is just... I don't know if Modern is just coming back with a vengeance because it's pissed off. And Modern didn't get to participate in the last two years' uptick in card prices. So everything else did. So now everything else is cooling off and all the money's flowing to Modern. I'm not sure, you know, Modern Horizons is was just the... I mean, because this was going on way before Modern Horizons 2... The spoilers or anything. I mean, it's just absolutely wacky time. So, and if this is the case, I mean, if Modern Experience is a one to two year, even a, a multi-year bull run here, I mean, we could, we, these, these cards have tremendous room to run because the prices are so low on so many of these things. And, you know, you guys, we can all complain all we want about the pricing and $100 packs from Wizards, but these cards are still absolutely just i mean just stunning i mean there is no way to discount how amazing God, i mean these things just even the metamorph look at look at look at the metamorph man i mean these are just gorgeous pieces of art the print quality on these things is, is still some of the best i've ever seen i mean e even the regular ones even the regular ones i mean even the regular ones are i mean just just the quality is just there, and I don't know why sometimes Wizards just hits it out of the park with great quality. And other times, I swear it's like the first day they've ever printed a single piece of cardboard, and they don't have a clue what they're doing. <laughs> That's just how volatile they are, I, you know, for whatever the reason is. But anyways, I just want to give my two thoughts, and I thought it'd be fun to do this little video for Thomas over here.
Dude, I had no idea we we're gonna have a home run here. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm gonna delete the video. I'm gonna keep all the cards. Thomas, you're getting screwed. I'm gonna I'm gonna film another one. Seriously though, thanks folks for watching. Absolutely incredible experience. Thomas, enjoy the amazing cards. As always, folks, appreciate the honor and privilege to entertain. You guys have a great day.